Overseas, at least 45 people were killed and more than 90 were wounded in bombings across Iraq. One of the bombings struck at the heart of an effort to end the violence there. The bomber blew himself up inside a Baghdad hotel lobby, where Sunni tribal leaders were mapping a strategy to defeat al-Qaeda. ABC's John Hendren went to the scene of the attack. The clock stopped at 11.48, the moment a massive explosion tore through the lobby, leaving the remnants of an Arab headdress amid the dust, blood, and rubble. The force of the blast blew out the ceiling tiles, the marble, the windows, everything. To get here, the bomber had to go through three layers of security. What police are here investigating now is who he was and how he did it. The bomber apparently managed to pass through a checkpoint outside the high-rise hotel compound, pass an inspection station for car bombs, and pass what is supposed to be a body search immediately inside the hotel lobby. The Mansour Hotel is a time-worn haunt of foreigners and houses the Chinese embassy. But the apparent targets today were a group of Sunni sheikhs from Al Anbar province, gathered in the crowded lobby for a meeting to discuss ways to combat al-Qaeda. The attack had the look of a warning. It's simply a message by the Qaeda to the people of the Anbar. We have a long arm, we can reach you, we can intimidate you, and we can kill you. It was a blow to American and Iraqi hopes of co-opting Sunnis, a fatal blow to five sheikhs, including the former governor of Anbar province, who were killed by a bomber who patiently walked the length of the lobby to reach them before detonating his explosives. This is exactly the type of gathering that is among the best hopes for a stable, peaceful Iraq. John Hendren, ABC News, Baghdad.